We want to turn now to the battle against COVID and doctors in Northwest Georgia growing more and more concerned that the surging infections they dealt with back in the winter is beginning to repeat mm -hmm. itself. That's the concern. The number of cases and hospitalizations quickly rising, but for now the hospitals in that region have not yet hit the point of being overstressed. They are close though. The doctors are Joe Hankey talked with say this spike was absolutely avoidable with the unvaccinated making up the vast majority of people that are getting sick. August 2020, Dr. Jennifer Barbary with Harbin Clinic in Floyd County first talked with 11 Alive. I hope that this doesn't continue for too much longer because uh, it is, I don't think it is sustainable. I think there's going to be a high degree of burnout. Since then, vaccines have become readily available to the point supply is higher than demand. But once again, in Northwest Georgia, cases, hospitalizations and COVID-19 positive test rates are all on the rise again. I think we're more scared this time. Uh, the virulence of the Delta variant has us a little bit concerned and just our low percentage of vaccinations throughout the state are definitely probably one of our greatest concerns. Currently in Georgia's hospital region C covering Floyd County and much of the northern state line with Alabama, 17% of people hospitalized have COVID-19. If the trend continues, hospitals in northwest Georgia could face a situation like they did in January when elective surgeries needed to be canceled and patients were diverted to other hospitals. What I think we're observing now is the rise is much more rapid. You know, we are seeing a much higher number of cases every day. Our hospitals are filling up so fast and, you know, we are... I fear what the next few weeks may hold. Numbers are increasing. It's very worrisome. Dr. Gary Voscio is the Georgia Department of Public Health Director for Northwest Georgia. He's keeping an eye on positive test rates for COVID-19. Anything above 20%, which Northwest Georgia is inching toward, is considered dangerous. It's very significantly high numbers compared to what we experienced a few weeks ago. Uh, all of our counties are in the in the positive teen range, 15, 16, 20% almost. Voscio says it's too early to tell if hospitals will need to return to COVID emergency plans, but doctors are concerned. We reported uh, almost 6,000 cases in Georgia yesterday, and over the past four weeks, we have doubled those numbers every week for the past four weeks. So at an accelerated rate, we are seeing these positive COVID cases. And as cases and hospitalizations continue to significantly increase in Northwest Georgia, Dr. Barbary and Dr. Voscio tell me, of course, the best defense right now is getting vaccinated if you are not already.